Hi, I'm back with a new video. This working is a little bit different. Uh, it's a love working and I'm using a doll. This time it's a plastic doll. Uh, I'm sure you can get them in discount stores wherever you are. So this has already been blessed. Situation goes, I have a client who is extremely fond of uh, a woman that is in his life. Uh, they are obviously have a chemistry, etc. And uh, Basically, he wants to take it to the next level. She has a few issues with regards to uh, her her previous relationship and stuff, and we want to, you know, manipulate her in a way to move her on in life, so that she can, you know, enjoy enjoy being together, you know, together with him. Uh, they have a nice energy together, and I think they would be a good, you know, a good couple. So this little doll, like I said, has been baptized and. Unfortunately, I had to cut some of her lovely hair because <laughs> I put a, I had a cut into the back of the doll's head uh, because we're working on the head, the mind, so to speak. So I want to put place some things inside this little doll, into like, the head cavity. Okay, so I have also called upon Salos from the Guisha and Zipar. I will explain uh, their roles at the end of this video. Okay, so what we're going to do is, first of all, her photograph. She's already been baptized, but I'm just going to put her photograph in there anyway. It creates a stronger link. And because we want her to think romantic thoughts and uh, things like that, you could use sugar. Uh, I want to put in some honey. I just don't want to make a mess. <laughs> so give it a go put some honey into the actual head cavity this is going to be very messy and sticky uh, it's very important to visualize your end result your, in your mind's eye as you're doing this as I make a mess okay and I'm going to place some little roses I haven't got a lot of room to work with but it's okay and I'm popping in here some road opener that I've powdered down at the Camino because we really want this lady to, you know, move on away from her past. Okay. Uh, okay. Cinnamon. I just don't want it to go all over the shop. <laughs> Can't wreck the place. Okay, and some uh, ginger. Ginger is very good along with cinnamon. Love and lust. Okay, so we're sweetening up her thoughts. That's what we're doing. Usually I have bigger dolls in this because the head is not very big, but it's okay. It's a shell work, none the same, all the same. Okay. This is control oil that I make, so I'm pouring some on her head. We want to have full control over the whole situation. And a little bit of uh, come to me oil. It never wants to come out. Okay, tonight. Uh, I need rose water. One moment. It's important that you baptize the doll because otherwise you're just working with a doll, a piece of plastic. It's not the same. Uh, you really need to baptize your doll. Okay. Uh, there is something else I need. A tiny bit of sulfur that's exactly what i need oh um uh, you probably ask why a tiny bit of sulfur but we want to give uh this a, you know a push and sulfur will do that sulfur will really push uh the situation and i know it's used in a lot of negative workings a tiny amount of sulfur will be fine in this working okay so i'm just gonna place it in via this little spoon <sighs> Okay, so what I'm going to do now is seal the 
head cavity, excuse the glare, with some candle wax. Okay, that candle is a Santissima Morte candle. So it has the energy. I bring that candle, uh, I burn a candle every day on her altar. Uh, so it will pick up, you know, her energy. And I like to use that as well in these workings. Okay. So I'm going to uh, put some smoke on this. I can just... Uh, Okay, that's just to put life into this doll, so it's not just a piece of plastic anymore. Okay, I have a cleansed out jar, and she's going to go in there. Not a very flattering pose, but <laughs> I'll try and get her squeezed in. Uh, this jar is not very big, but okay. So I, I had to manipulate her a little bit to get her in, to get her into the jar so that's the photographs that have been put together with uh honey and some oils and the petition and that's going in there as well so i'm going to put some more honey in on top of her so your photograph uh, the client and her photograph like I said, are you know facing each other? You could use, um, sorry, uh, what do you call it? Sugar as well. If you don't have honey or syrup, sugar is fine. Okay, so what we're doing now? Uh, I'm gonna put in a little bit of orris root, and some eyebrows. Ladies mantle. All these are very good for love, etc. I'll add in a little bit more uh, ginger and clove, as, or not clove, uh, cinnamon as well. Uh, I need some rose water. Okay, rose water. I like quite a bit of rose water and still stay with me oil a little bit more road opener church dirt from a church some pheromone uh, I also sprayed some pheromone on the pictures, uh, so I did a little bit more on top of that actually. Uh, some little grains of paradise. Okay. This is one of my lost oils. And that's a little bit of control oil as well. And crown of success I'm looking for. Crown of success, where are you? Okay, uh, some little rose buds to pop just on the top of this. And uh, some precipitation oil. I'll go for the red one or the pink one. I've never actually seen pink, but I know it exists. But I really like uh, to use the red on the black. You know, I don't like to verge into these different colors because that's just keeping it simple. Uh, if you don't have the oil, precipitation oil, use coffee. 
precipitation oil is for speed. Um, it's also called rush oil. Okay, uh, now I need the lid. And I'm going to breathe life into this jar. And give it a shake. So I will be burning a, a, a candle on top of this. Uh, but like I said, just, I'm going to move that, yeah. So I've got the seal of uh, Zipar. And I always refer to S. Conley's books. I like the, her style of writing. And um, I don't like, I've said before, I don't like when the Goetia are... Uh, I don't like it when spirits are told what to do and threatened, you know, in the triangle and all that. So I like S. Conley, the way she, she, you know, she writes. So she's basically saying Zipar, his color is incense, his incense, his color is incense. Oh, well, his color is green. <laughs> his incense is sandalwood. His metal is copper. His planet is Venus. His element is earth. And his N is I don't know what my pronunciation, but we'll have a go. Lion, Ramek, Katya, Zipar. He causes women to love men and also makes women barren. So that's his original purpose uh, that was in the old grimoire, grimoires. Uh, but she, the author's notes basically says, likewise, Zipar can be invoked as a fertility demon. So even though he makes women barren, he can also you know, make them fertile. Uh, and then it says invokes Zipar to find your married partner and that is the reason why uh, I've called on him so he is a duke and I will be lighting a candle to him and then you know uh, about uh, Salos I've mentioned Salos many times on the channel uh, one second he's another duke his color again is green. His incense is sandalwood as well. Uh, metal copper, planet Venus, element Earth. N is Serena Alora Salas Akin. Original purpose Salas is invoked to cause men to love women and women to love men. And then S. Conley goes on to say, comparable to Rossier in the Ducante hierarchy, Salas can be invoked during marriage ceremonies. So, yeah. So I've got these two seals and I've got my little petition on the back of each seal. So I'll be getting my, uh, there's that green, that's green. I'll be getting two candles and I'll be dressing these candles uh, with some herbs and bits and pieces for the two spirits. You know, I like to give them something, even if it's just some incense or a glass of water. And then when they come through, you know, and they do what they're, you know, I've asked and petitioned them for, they will get a public thank you as well. So I'll be lighting a candle for each of them and I'll keep this going. I'll, I'll light the candle for uh, so long, maybe 15 minutes each night and I can burn these candles down and I'll put the little honey jar here. So I'll have the two green candles and then I'll have uh, a pink candle on top, one of these pink similar candle on top burning there. Or I could actually do two binding candles if you know what I mean. You've seen them before I'm sure on the channel. Two channel or two, I'm talking backwards tonight, two uh, candles that are tied with not magic. I can show that at some point again. So I'm just going to push this aside a second. Uh, I did look at a few cards, not a lot, just a few, uh, with regards to the situation. Oracle cards, uh, first of all. So I think we're tuning into her state of mind at the moment. First card, oops, first card out was Storm uh, and Heartbreak. And then we've got the card of Home. Then we've got Journey, which leads to good fortune. I know they're just oracle cards, but you know, they are quite accurate in what they say. And then I have a couple of Lenormand cards. Just place these down. And again, I think they are heading on the issue. Yeah, 
I can see it already. Okay, key card is the stars. That's everything that she ever wanted. Has basically with her, it's telling me a lot about the person from the past. She's still carrying, as we already know, she's still carrying the the burden of him. But the whip card and the cross, it tells me about she's beating herself up over an ending. But over here, I've got the coffin and the ship. Coffin is a card of the endings, obviously death, uh, death of a situation and the ship. So that's telling me that all of this will actually move. It will go away and she will she will feel a lot better, I think. So, yeah, the end of that situation is going to is going to come. The end of her, you know, like I said, worrying about this breakup. It's over. It's coming to an end very soon. That's what those two cards indicate. So, and uh, this the star card is good. You know, it's all about what's meant for her, won't pass her by and stuff. Uh, everything that she, you know, desires in life, you know, will come her way. A card of karmic ties, a card, a card of just, you know, when you wish upon a star. And, you know, that's what I always think of when I see that card. So I do think this woman uh, will get over her her issues at the moment. I really do. At the minute, she's she, I can see this the inner battle, the inner struggle, but she will push on past that. So, like I said, uh, I'll keep this going, and we can see how things are. And uh, it's a house of magic at gmail .com If anyone else is interested in questions, whatever you have, I'll try my best to answer you all. Uh, thank you for all your likes. Thank you for uh, subscribing. I'm doing really well. Um, I never imagined when I started this channel nearly two years ago uh, that I would ever get to this point. You know, I'm nearly at 5,000 and I'm just flabbergasted. <laughs> I really am. So thank you to all for that. Uh, it's just unbelievable. I did start off, it was just a place for me to, you know, store spells. And back in the day, uh, I was so quiet, I had a few, a few throat issues and uh, my voice was so quiet and dreary. And <laughs> but now things have really changed. You gain confidence with this, so you do. Uh, but anyway, I'll not digress. Uh, so, so how's magic at gmail.com?